Ladies and gentlemen, this clip from Pitchside is brought to you by Super 6. It's the end of the football season and the end of the Super 6 season, but don't fear. Make sure to follow their social channels at Super 6 to get all the latest updates. It's completely free to play and there'll be loads more chances to win the £250,000 jackpot next season. It's so easy to play, just predict your six scores, enter your golden goal, click submit and you're all set. It's a free shot of a quarter million quid, so keep up to date on their social channels, as I said, at Super 6 for all the latest updates. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. But yeah, no, we have to touch on Leicester because uh, even though they won against yeah, West Yeah, they did Ham, all they needed to and still went down. Yeah, but too little, too late, some yeah, would say. A lot of, a lot of the uh, reason as to why they are relegated is because they didn't bother against Newcastle, which was a really interesting game. What do you mean by that? You didn't try. They didn't try and win the game, did they? They sat in for ninety-five minutes. Yeah, but to be fair, like that, they had. To, if they came out, they would have conceded. Yeah, but you'd, you'd want you'd want them to try and win the game. I know, but they got I themselves. They, get a lot a, of they, they got themselves to a position where it went down to the last day, though, didn't they? By getting that. No, point. no, was no, it? That's not a good no, thing. No, you don't want yeah, it to come yeah. down to the last day when when it wasn't even in their hands yeah, it's in not the last even in their day. Hands. Yeah. Like if Everton win, they can't. So if they lost that game, would it? They still have found themselves in the same position of just needing that. Okay. Yeah, but if they'd have won the game, it was in their hands to stay up. Okay, and if, like, yeah. if they just like won one more game during the season, they would have stayed up. <laughs> in fairness, though, they came out in the last ten minutes and they did almost win. Like they had yeah. like, oh, the You know, a game <laughs> ninety minutes long. Lewis. <laughs> yeah, get to the they end almost mate. won, but they're still in the championship now. Yeah, which uh, is a, a massive forward. What a great story they were to win the prem and then FA Cup, yeah. Community um, Shield, yeah, mm -hmm. Community Shield, yeah, they won well. that as well. Yeah, it, what a storyline! And you know what, Gary Lineker, he said it with a, he said it with like a, a pinch of salt. But he said, if you had told me ten years ago that Leicester would get promoted to the Premier League, win it, win the FA Cup, Community Shield, and get relegated, he said he would have. You would take that, hand take of it. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sure. at the same time, when you've done so well, how can you let your club get relegated after winning? Yeah, the yeah Premier it's League? such a drastic drop as well. They were like yeah. what fifth, fifth, eighth. Relegated. They're, they're, it's something behind the scenes has gone horrendously wrong there. Yeah. And then not only that, but they've invested so much into their facilities. They're going to yeah, be like, they're, like really they're literally going to be like the dream place for a championship footballer. Like the, the facilities are state of the art. What yeah. they did and wrong. And they're in the second division. What they did wrong was invest in the facilities and not their team. Well, you have to remember, you ha uh, this is a big Newcastle are going to have to do this soon as well. You know, is yeah, your facilities ongoing. are dreadful. Yeah, no, they've they improved a little bit pain. now. We're not in bins anymore. We actually have like <laughs> ice. <laughs> like, yeah, we got trained in bins before. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen a clip of them in a, uh, doing an ice bath, but it's just in bins. Really? Yeah, yes. no, it's genuinely, genuine like, thing. Mike Ashley, when people don't, this is what I mean when people don't understand what Mike Ashley did. Yeah. Like, Open bin boys, is that? Yeah, that it was ridiculous. <laughs> like, little kids paddling pools as well, they were sat in. Yeah, it was Mental. really bad. Not kids, I. Not now. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> um, no, I actually went to the Newcastle training park, and it was all right. Yeah, it's upgraded now. Park. Since? It's oh. been... It's been up. I don't know when did you go, but it's been upgraded. It's all nice. No, oh, no it, it was bad back it then. Bad yeah, then, yeah. yeah it, was a bit, it was a bit ropey. But hey, got Mike Ashley's private jet up. Did you? Did you? Yeah. You little bastard. Really? Yeah. See, oh, that's I where all that. your yeah. money yeah. went to was flying <laughs> Theo Baker up Theo Baker. So shit. <laughs> like, you, the players are fucking in bin bags and bins. <laughs> and he's flying like. In bin bags. How have we got there? <laughs> Sweat uh, training. Yeah, anyways. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, but, we, uh, we should touch on Leicester because they didn't, they didn't replace. They didn't replace. A keeper. Michael. Yeah, their captain. Fafana. Uh, yeah, arguably, yeah. You could arguably say, I know it was a while ago, but did they replace Kante? Mm. Well, they've been all right since he left, to be fair. Tielemans didn't like step up this years. season. No, he's been shot. They relied on James Madison, who was by far their best player the whole season. I felt bad yeah. for him, but he, he wears his heart on his sleeve, you know. He, he would always come out and say something at least. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So after, even when he was losing, people, they're like, oh, you don't give a shit. He was there like, no. And he's not give a shit. But I do, yeah, I do yeah. genuinely believe that when your club is just in that mentality, it must be so difficult. And that's why often you see like those late manager changes and it, it works mm. because you need like a massive yeah. shift in the dressing room for something to happen. You can't just have a good huddle before the game yeah, yeah. and that's going to make a difference. When you're in the bins, like you're, you're in the bins. Like, it takes something massive to change that. Do you think they went wrong by replacing Brendan though? Because no, if I, you look at... If you, I if feel you, like they went wrong by letting it go that, that long. long. Yeah. So whereas Bournemouth replaced very quickly yeah, this yeah, season, sure. yeah. not in for his back Steve Cooper... Yeah. Um, 
who else? Do, who are other team back there manager? West Ham back David Moyes. West Ham back David Moyes. Yeah. You know all these play, clubs that back their managers that survived. Yeah, Lopetegui came in early. Yeah. You could say, well, look at Everton. They bought Sean Dyche in. Yeah, and that was before Leeds. Leeds, Leeds, back, Leeds went. Right? Yeah, and they didn't back their manager. Yeah. Yeah. Like the the, the clubs that didn't have a a stable hierarchy. You should say. Yeah, but, but then there also is like the the cheat code that is replacing the manager and they just go on like a, a that run to yeah, stay up sure. so that happened so i don't know it's a, it, it's a difficult one but i do think like there was there's something rotten in leicester that we just don't know there, about there, I, there is, I, I don't think they're going to get promoted next season i, I, think, oh, I, think, got, I got, think leeds and leicester have a real struggle getting back really yeah yeah, yeah, yeah why the, 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 the amount of money that they're, no, but gonna no, have they're, they're about the, to have their whole team stripped yeah but yeah you mentioned no, the, the facilities like the like, that does make a difference like, to like the players they got coming through like if they're training these best facilities they're gonna have like better players but you could through. just attract the best players the competition yeah. of the championship is insane there's only four teams in that league that haven't been in the premier league before yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's yeah. ridiculous Mate, that league i'm not even i don't know Maybe you can find out quickly, Lewis. Did, I know Sky said something about showing they, they signed a deal. There is a deal. new deal. There is a like, new deal. I swear. They're going to be yeah, showing like, we're, all we're the games now. Yeah. Does that start next season? Because if so, that will be unreal. Like, yeah, it looks, like, if there's a time to watch the championship, it is absolute. Wow. Like, yeah. And and then uh, the funny thing is, you then look at the lineup of the Premier League next year. I'm not going to lie. Uh, everyone obviously deserves to do that, yeah. but it is a bit underwhelming. Yeah, for there's sure. just a lot of big names missing. It's yeah. looking like, on, from a quick look here, a deal that they did from 24-25 season. So the season after. Bring it forward. The season after. Yeah. That's a shame. Should they, they should bring it forward. Where, where do you think this Leicester team should have finished then? Relegated. I think if you finish bottom three, you deserve. To if, you look, if you look, look at the squad, but if you're looking at the squad objectively at the start nah, of the season, no one had. Oh, but man, I'm sorry, but, but, like but if you look from from the mid behind the midfield, the, the, the back four and the keeper, it's shocking. Oh yeah, I like like that. it. No, nah, the keeper situation is unforgivable. Yeah, that's like, you don't let you that go started an the season team. with Ward and Iverson, two play, uh, two players that should not be playing in the Prem. Like, like that is unforgivable. And then uh, they went, didn't they go through the January transfer window and still didn't yep. replace like what the fuck? If you if you lose like <laughs> Casper Schmeichel, who's a top top keeping a yeah. Premier League winning keeper now, international captain, and you and and you replace him by two second choice keepers battling for a first, so it's just going to go horribly wrong. And this was the thing when when, I, when we're making our relegation team, um, I was just looking at like the keeper situation, and I can there's one common denominator there, which is the defense, and more importantly, the keepers were just dog shit. Yeah. If you look at the yeah the three teams that went down because we are making a relegation team later, mm. the defense was so hard to pick. Mm -hmm. Like it was genuinely yeah, it's the it best was, of a bad bunch, really. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. Like they were all just like, "What are you doing? Yeah, like why are you there? Uh, so who leaves Leicester? Harvey Barnes for sure James Madison, Where does it, Madison. Like, we'll, Harvey Barnes we'll go goes West do, Ham yeah, so go Harvey Barnes goes West Ham I can feel it in my bones really <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. yeah. He's, I think he's a bit he, West Ham player no disrespect to West Ham but they were in a relegation battle for a good a good portion of this season yeah. as well I come away with the European I, trophy yeah, yeah, they, yeah which would be great but I think Harvey Barnes is, is, is goes to a better club really yeah, right. he's a he's a fucking player. Like, he is, right? you know, he's, like, he's Leicester's top scorer for the season. That would be a great a great signing. Who did you I, say? Brighton. What with Matoma? Yeah, but mate, mate, this is what I'm saying. I, I don't know whether he goes to one of these and he starts, but he absolutely puts pressure on whoever is there. Mm. And if, if you got Barnes coming off your bench, you, like, that's a, you're yeah. in, you're in a good nick. I, I think he goes to like a, he's like the big signing for a newly promoted team. Mm, it could be. Ah, oh, really? Like, yeah, like the star signing. What about a Villa? Uh, I don't know. I no? can see him at Villa. That's a yeah. great shout. You could. It's the Claret and Blue clubs. <laughs> I think like West Ham and Villa, like the teams who will like pay a decent wage for yeah. this kind of player where like yeah. if he, got, he could get a top move, but he's going to get a lot less money. Like they wouldn't, where and also, Villa and Aston Villa will be willing to back West it West Ham will get a lot of money when they sell Declan Rice and they li they're a London club, so they can attract How players. much money do they get if they win the Conference League? I don't know, but they get a hundred. It's not going to be whack, isn't it? that Probably much, less than though. what they get for Declan Rice. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, I mean, that's that could be. Enough it, it, to pay it'll for still a help, player, right? So let's say Barnes to West Ham. Yep. Madison to Newcastle. Sure yeah, suppose. that that would be. Yeah, I'd be with so the Kane money. Yeah, it'd be so with sad. The Kane money. Yeah. <sighs> we'll talk. We'll, we'll go into that in a bit, but I think Mad Madison to Newcastle would just be a great signing for both. It, it really would. Like it. it that that signing has to happen. 
And, and, and not yeah, only that, yeah. but I'd love to see him in that team. I think he would yeah. just be so good. Madison genuinely deserves it. I've been crying for him all season. I wanted him over oh, Neymar. Ha- with happiness. Like, well, oh, yeah, all, remember the start of the season. Oh, yeah, you were Madison, please. please. Madison, yeah. if, he ch- if he chooses Spurs over Newcastle, I would actually, I know obviously London and his family it is, is a big it. pull. It is but, a big pull. But like, Spurs are actually crap. Like they're crap. Yeah, but he like they're going to be crap for a while. No, but like, especially when they lose Kane as bins. But James New- Madison is like the, the the star of every team he's played in. So if, yeah, he, but- if he has that ego to be like, oh, okay, I'm the guy that can resurrect. But Newcastle, he could be that guy at Newcastle in the Champions League with unlimited money to push for Premier League titles. Over not for long years. though. He, he's not going to be the main man for long. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I fine, he, fine. But look, I think he's there's good no way, like look. James Madison, great player, but if you want to talk about like a title winning side, I don't see him being a star player in it. Like like the no, number yeah, one yeah, player. Sure. So yeah. he's going to have to accept at some point, if you want these trophies, yeah. you're going to have fucking star studded players around you. I, but I don't get the vibe that he's that guy that says I must be the star. And the, this is the thing though, you come to Newcastle, you don't have to be the best player to be the star. Like when Dan Byrne has a chance. And oh, you have Matty, Matty Dan Tar- Byrne is not the star of yeah, Newcastle. I know he's not a star, but even he's got a chance. Matty targets on a, t- on a big flag across the stage. Stadium. So it's like when you have these smaller players still get appreciated. I think that is a genuine I, I, pull. Do you know what? I, I, I'd, I'd like to see him go, but I, I'm saying it's not out of the realms of possibility if he ends up as Spurs. I, no, do, I, I feel like he that. could I do that, that as well. Yeah. I agree with that. James, if you're watching, man, go Newcastle. You're going to be adored Please. by the fans. You're going to you're going to win trophies. Like if you go Spurs, you're literally not going to win a trophy. 